it, um, season, or episode 5, um, of MTV Stream, I just ended it about 5-10 minutes ago, and as I do here weekly, uh, my weekly reviews of each episode, if you haven't seen the other ones, uh, welcome to, uh, just check out the rest of my channel on YouTube, or here on YouTube, um, and they shouldn't be far, far below this one, so, uh, uh, like I said, check them out if you can. If you haven't uh, seen my thoughts up to now, I definitely can uh, can view them and then come back here to watch uh, this one, this episode. So, anyways, to get right into it, uh, this is episode five, halfway through season one, as it will only be ten episodes for this season. Uh, heck, it might be only ten episodes for the whole series. I don't know because I don't know if when they go into season two, they'll have a whole new cast. A new cast, new killer, new situation. Or, if they have season two, they'll have the same cast, same show, continuation, and then we'll find out who the killer is whenever the end of the series will be. But it being us from a slasher movie, being Scream, I would think it wouldn't be going too far in seasons. Like I said, at the most, maybe two full seasons. Um, I don't know how much deeper, I mean... Heck, in these last five episodes moving, coming forward, the last five, the first season, you can already, you can progress things pretty fast to find out who the killer is in the season finale. And, you know, and then if you're going to have another season, you have a new, a new group of teens or something, a new cast. And you go from there. But, anyways, from episode five, I think we got a couple of clues. Um, I think it made the teacher a lot more, um, Suspicious in a way, you know, a candidate to be the killer uh, found out that uh, he has been the one that um, was getting these uh, tapes of people in uh, compromised positions and situations. Um, part of the, not really part of the blackmail team, so to speak, as I called it. Um, but, but just you know, obviously suspicious in his own right, and the fact that uh, Nina Tyler. And Riley, being his age, um, you know, I'm going to assume, you know, we can assume from what was said in the episode that they knew about it, or maybe not knew, but found out, and then, um, was going to say something. Or maybe too afraid to say something, maybe he threatened them individually, or whatever, and, you know, then, you know, they're killed off, but, I th so that makes him suspicious to be the killer, you know, makes... As you think, especially with the whole game stuff and his personality and, you know, the fact that he had a relationship with one of his students, you know, so he's not, <laughs> he's not all, he's not all, all there in the brain, uh, you know, as in making good choices or, you know, sound choices, period. Um, now, like I said, the, you know, the, like I said, it doesn't make him look like he's making sound choices when he did that, but doesn't, you know, it doesn't. Does it automatically equate that he's a killer or part of, you know, a group of killers if that's how it's going to be? But it's definitely suspicious. And like I said, that's what the things that went down tonight uh, for a long time. We also found out that the whole relationship of Emma and Will started um, because of a bat. Will's uh, to be with uh, Emma, sleep with her, and pretty much add her to the list of people that are blackmailing in a way. If you, if you think about it, with Nina and the others. Um, yeah, I guess, you know, it's, so it is, we also found out Brooke's mother, um, was, uh, put in rehab, uh, but later on we see, um, Brooke with, uh, Jake, I think his name is, uh, him lying to her about, uh, it was the opposite way, he's the one that didn't get rid of things, he's the one, you know, but he's putting it all on Will. Because he's trying to, you know, gain Brooke's trust. And even him just looking at Brooke when Brooke was watching the tape of her father. Um, makes him a, a high candidate in my eyes. I still, um, you know, Karen still could be it. Um, I don't I might actually change my mind. And the fact that when Jake is watching, or when Jake is with Brooke... And that's being, you know, taped and part of the whole broadcast. And you can see it from 
from that point of view of them. Not the scene where uh, Jake and Brooke are watching the tape of her, of her father and, and what happened in that scene, but I think it was the one before it, where they were in the kitchen eating pizza or whatever, and they were talking, and, you know, Jake was pretty much lying to her, uh, trying to turn on Will, make him a suspect. Um, and more of not just a suspect of, a, of the killer, but just as a suspect for the whole blackmail situation. Who's who? And he's trying to put Will as a ringleader, when in the end it was him. And he's the one that's been truly lying. You know, you want to talk about you know the killer in that one episode on the phone talking about two faced friends. I think Jake's the the two face of the of the bunch. Kind of like the bad guy Two Face in Batman series. But, um, but yeah, no, my point was the fact that in that scene when they're eating or when they're talking and you, you see it from the vantage point of someone watching that tape of them live makes me think that it could be, could be a team of, a team, a group of killers, as it's not just one person. And, or, or it could be something totally different as in about, um, about the whole money and blackmailing and whatever that sort of secret or big thing you know so it could be two separate things not not correlating with each other not having to do with each other you know when we're trying to find a murderer to the ghost face and who's been doing all the killings and theirs is more of a blackmailing and you know just making money what however they can and Jake being the ringleader kind of situation. At least I think, I think it seems to be that way. But yeah, you know, and as I've said before, I'll say it again, you know, things are slowly building up. I kind of hope they only do have one season. At the end of this one, we find out who the killer is. Um, but definitely check out each, uh, you know, every week. You know, obviously I'll be doing reviews. Um, shortly I'll be getting a laptop and I'll be able to do uh, videos on that one. As in regular videos and better quality and... All the other stuff, as I keep saying, but it's, you know, true, you know, it's going to wait. But I do hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, enjoy this video and other ones. Um, and obviously, if you haven't checked out Stream by now, you certainly should. Or refresh yourself on the past uh, four episodes and obviously this one from tonight. Um, and get yourself versed in it and maybe you'll have your own theories and maybe you could be, you could be the smart one and know before all of us of who who done it you know, who's the killer um, but uh, that's pretty much everything I want to talk about I mean I know Kieran finally makes an appearance um, after being MIA last episode and it's from the previews of this episode I thought Kieran um, was going to show even more suspicion but from what actually happened in the scenes it seems like she, he's actually trying to protect Emma more than uh the latter so maybe again you know you never know for anything for any of these characters you don't know if it's a red herring or him just trying to be nice and to to make it seem like you know he's not it but in the end he is or something or it could be him you know you can't tell that's the hard thing about um, hard thing about trying to figure out things um, with this show but then again that makes it a good show you know keeps you on your toes keeps you thinking and makes me and others YouTubers um, that I've talked to you know, with these with these weekly reviews, um, you know, people's one stop places, or well, it wouldn't be one stop if you're going to multiple places. But you know what I mean. You know, you know, a little community in a way, you know, YouTube for other people to uh, to see other people's opinions, hear them, and you know, share share and show their own. And um, that's that's what I enjoy. I enjoy sharing. And then everybody know what I think and who I think is. I like I said, I still think my number one suspect is Kieran. Um, Jake though is number two. Um, Audrey probably would be three, and then Will and the teacher top five. But you never know. Like I said, it still could be Emma's dad. It could be uh, one of these new characters that came into the story and the show. But that's what makes it interesting, right? So uh, I guess I'll be here next week, obviously, with uh, 
episode 6 review. And, um, uh, the show's only gonna get better from here. Take care.